Is the Kudankulam reactor really safe and when can it start functioning? A day after the government of Tamil Nadu gave a go-ahead to start work at the stalled nuclear power plant, NDTV science editor Palla Bagala spoke to Dr. Srikumar Banerjee who said the countdown to start the project is on. It should take two to three months. The day after the Tamil Nadu government gave a green signal so that work can start at the Kudunkulam nuclear plant, I have with me the chief of India's nuclear energy program, Dr. Shri Kumar Banerjee. Dr. Banerjee, are you relieved that work is starting back again at the Kudunkulam nuclear plant? I'm definitely very happy that the work has already started. And as soon as we got the clearance, our people uh, yesterday moved into the plant. Uh, I uh, was informed that about 300 people have entered yesterday and today the full force of the NPCL people have entered including the Russian experts. So is the plant really safe because the key question is that is it safe? It is definitely very safe and this is the VVR reactor in the world which has got the maximum safety features. As I have indicated to you earlier that this reactor has a passive cooling system and this passive cooling system is also air cooled so that we don't have really any problem as far as managing the heat is concerned. So it won't explode like the reactor at Fukushima? Definitely not. And, and this particular reactor, in the safety system, the Atomic Energy Regulatory Board asked for certain additional features after Fukushima. Are you incorporating them? We are incorporating all those which have been given by Atomic Energy Regulatory Board, but I can tell you that the, the number of extra features that they have asked are not really too many. It is mainly the adding certain amount of redundancy in terms of the power supply and water supply, which can easily be accommodated, and these are all mobile systems. So I don't see any major changes in the uh, actual uh, um, uh, implementation. 99% of, of the plant is ready in reactor number one. Yes. Now almost six month delay has happened where wo no work happened. Has the reactor been damaged by this non-work which was happening? We have been keeping a constant watch on this that whether there's any damage or not. I can ascertain that there is no damage. But at the same time we will be approaching Atomic Energy Regulatory Board to certify that there has been no issue related to safety, even because of the six months uh, uh, running it in the uh, low key. Now, people are concerned that there is no disaster management plan for the Kudankulam nuclear power plant. Is that a correct uh, assessment of the local people? No, there is a very clear-cut disaster management plan for all our nuclear power stations, and particularly so for Kudankulam, as uh, you know that NDMA has now got a very well laid out system for disaster management and we have complied with all that requirement. Now, at Kudunkulam when this agitation and protest was happening, have you learnt any lessons from it in taking India's nuclear energy program forward that a few fishermen or fisher folk could stall a large 13,000 crore reactor? Have you personally and the energy department learnt some lessons? I think we have learned some lessons. One of the important lessons is that uh, we have to have a better connect with the local people. It is not just for, uh, supplying power which will be feeding to the national grid, which will also give uh, the power to the local, the state in which it is uh, located. But at the same time, it is important for us that how, how is the benefit coming to the near about, the near neighbors. And in that, uh, I guess that we have learned a lesson that we have to have a much higher degree of contact with the local people and, and, and to outreach to them that what are the benefits that we are bringing to the society. So if the plant is safe and your workforce is going in full force as you said, how soon can you have the plant up and running and producing electricity? Uh, we expect that in matters of about uh, two to three months I think we'll be able to reach the criticality and then gradually we'll increase the power level to the full power level and grid connectivity will come around that time. So, when can the people of Tamil Nadu expect electricity from the Kudankulam nuclear plant to flow into their houses? As I told you that I am rather optimistic on this that it will come within a three months period and uh, as soon as this comes uh, we are parallelly working for the Kudankulam 2 
and uh, the gap between the two reactors also will try to minimize as much as possible. So I'm sure by end of the year, both the plants producing 2,000 megawatt electricity will be reaching the houses of uh, the southern grid. So that was Dr. Shri Kumar Banerjee telling us that the Kudankulam nuclear plant is safe, no damage has happened to it, but a big lesson they have learned is to reach the people and make them understand the safety features. With camera person N. Ravi in New Delhi, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.